It's nearly three years since a mysterious virus struck the Chinese city of Wuhan, heralding a phase of lockdowns, sickness and ultimately vaccines across the world. Yet while the pandemic feels over for many, China is still very much in the midst of it. From the capital Beijing to the economic engine of Guangzhou in the south and the Tongqing megacity in the southwest, China is now reporting more than 20,000 COVID cases per day. This may be low by international standards, but it is considered very high when the strategy is to maintain zero COVID. It means officials are once again forced to lock down huge swathes of the country. In Beijing, residents have been urged to stay home while schools and businesses have been closed. From today, a negative PCR test is required to enter all public venues. The last great spike in cases happened in April and led to the entire city of Shanghai, home to some 26 million people, being placed under strict lockdown. However, there are signs of growing discontent over the government's strategy. Videos have emerged on social media showing hundreds of workers protesting, some then beaten by police outside Foxconn's factory in Zhengzhou. As well as the social toll, the rolling lockdowns are hurting China's economy and by extension the world's. Yet the path out of zero Covid remains unclear. Anne O'Donnell, Virgin Media News.